and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got Hannah hey. and Emily, hey. Hi. <laughs> manager slash friend. Oh, Best thanks guys. <laughs> and we thought we'd do a little mukbang. We're actually all really, really hungry. Starving. And we haven't stopped. What's so I that? asked over on my Instagram questions for me and Hannah. But I think that you guys hear about me all the time. So I want to keep this Hannah focused, you know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Hannah, this is you know very, that. very random. Okay. But Emily told me... <laughs> what have I said? <laughs> Go on. That you were an OG Playboy Play bunny. bunny. Yes, babe. So, like, like, what the hell? Yeah, so when I was like 18, I was at the Playboy Mansion. So cool. But I wasn't a Iconic. girlfriend. I was, I modelled for Playboy and then I was one of Hef's Painted Ladies. So what, what is that? I've heard you speak about this. So basically when Hef would walk like the red carpet for E or he'd do any like parties at the mansion, I was just naked and body painted. Oh, have you got pictures of this? Loads of pictures. Oh, you've got so Wait, so you ones. actually met Hugh Hefner? Oh and my, I, I used to have like dinners with him. I would stay at the mansion. I'd watch movies with him and his girlfriends. I've been to like loads of the parties. You know what? Me. You actually look like an iconic like playboy. Like, oh. like, Stunning. Oh, thank you. Stunning. Babe, do you know what? Thank I you. I wonder if I'd be able to find any pictures of you. I've online. got, right, because, like, it was so... I've got a few on Instagram, but, like, right, right down. I actually was saying this to Dave the other day. Because it was so many years ago, there wasn't even, like, a camera phone. So yeah. I used to take a digital camera, take all the photos, come home, print them out in boots. And my mum in her house has got this box with, like, loads of photographs. <sighs> But I'm going to so much Quickly, so do you have like Hugh Hefner's number? He's <laughs> well, there. Have yet. you had? Oh, is it? <laughs> oh. Well, well I did you. When did he die? Why am I so detached from that? Like, a few years ago. So yeah, but you are, you are quite a bit younger. <gasps> Show it! <laughs> Guys, <laughs> that is Hannah with Hugh Hefner. I'm so No. How cool. <laughs> you know that is literally like an iconic Halloween it's outfit. So for you. That's like an OG. <laughs> like people actually like, as like boyfriend and girlfriend for like Halloween parties, go with Hugh Hefner one. and the bunny. And you're yeah, actually, the bunny. Yeah, you're actually the real the bunny. bunny. Mm -hmm. That's me there. The real Hugh Hefner. <gasps> The mansion with flamingos. Oh, Hold my on. God, the flamingos. <laughs> it's walking around the garden. Guys. Does that not just feel like a whole <laughs> different lifetime ago? Look how orange so how, was, how by the way. So how old were you? <laughs> I was like 18. <gasps> Stop. The eyebrows are... But what year was that when everyone oh, had the time? Oh, my... <laughs> Goodness, one half. Do you know what? How did you even get oh. this? Look how orange <laughs> no, you look I look like a man. highlighter. Oh. Just because I'm mod, I was a glamour model when I left school. And, oh, that was his like PA Mary. Oh. Then I went and worked for a shop for Playboy. So yeah, I got invited over there, and it was just like an unreal experience yeah. so did they just call you and they were like I just got an email and they contacted me and like even now I'm just so grateful that I get to say I did that because it's like Absolutely. seriously like mad yeah, yeah. that I did it that is crazy and like my whole image right like everything about like the way I look is like I haven't got that from like Insta or anything like that it's all been based off like the big boobs the big hair I love that from like Playboy Pamela Anderson all the big Playboy girls, that's yeah. what like I based everything on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then for I me to go that. there, it was like a dream. So that yeah. is literally crazy. Oh, so cool. <laughs> you know what? When Emily told me on the phone that, I was like, I think I was in my kitchen and I was like, I was what? like, just <laughs> you wait till you see Han. And I was like, she's everyone. And I was like, you know, she was a, play a Playboy bunny. And Cinder was like, a real one. I was like, yes, a real <laughs> one. Imagine. <laughs> with like ears. Yeah. yeah. It was literally like a couple Halloweens ago with my ex boyfriend. He was. Hugh Hefner. I, and love I was that. I would show the picture, but I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> but I was literally like a Playboy. I but love it. I looked nothing like you. you oh babe, like ten times. You are a doll. But I feel like you because you've got the loved you. <laughs> <laughs> he would have made you a bunny. <laughs> I literally love that. <laughs> yeah. So how how have you found it? Like obviously at that time when you were doing all of your photo shoots and stuff, you were doing it for like lab mags and stuff like that. That's not a thing now. Yeah. So like that shift for you, what was that like? Do you know what? It's sad because I used to like do since I left school. That's what I did. Like all the lab mags. That was like my job. 
and it's actually sad not doing the lad mags anymore like the lad mags have gone you can't even buy them anymore mm. but it's just sad because like it was good to get your actual like you on the covers yeah. you know like in print and have them all like that was amazing and that doesn't exist anymore and i say oh i really miss the lad mag days but i'm grateful i got to like yes. do it mm. but now obviously everything's online so the the glamour model and will went to like only fans then yeah which is amazing because you know you can control all your content whereas obviously back then not like for the lab mags obviously they mm. were like big established established things mm. but maybe some people might go down the wrong way or weren't getting mm. like control over the pictures yeah whereas now you can so yeah it's got like pros and cons with yeah. both of them because yeah. I, I miss the lad mag days but then now I can be in control. Yeah. Do you yeah. wish they'd let you drink a bit more? It seems like they're so strict on you guys. I mean, girl, do I wish I know. someone was begging for this? No. <laughs> I could only drink like one, you know them little gold glasses? I could only drink like one or if I was very, very lucky, two a night. Are they like big flutes or are they actually like normal like normal sort of just like flutes? normal do they let you choose if you want like different wine and stuff yeah yeah that's but good we'd all argue as well because some nights some would be filled up to the top some wouldn't so you'd run out to the garden and try and get the best wine do you know what i mean <laughs> that's yeah. so funny oh yeah we were the same we love Orange Australia as well. Could you drink in that one or? Yeah, it was one drink. You know what, on the dates as well, I think some days they gave us non alcoholic, like sparkling apple. Oh, and they then, did that to us. Honestly, this is so weird. On, on the dates, they actually give you alcoholic stuff. Ah. Yeah, Why? and by the way, me and Zach were literally like on another planet. Like, <laughs> obviously, I hadn't drunk in ages, mm -hmm. but I had like three glasses of Prosecco, and obviously, for someone that hasn't drunk, like, in literally like four weeks. Yeah, your tolerance goes mad. Mm. I was like, I actually felt really, really tipsy in the hideaway. <laughs> and Zach was talking about stuff like the Bible and stuff. And I was like, what? Yeah. Like, what? So it was, one, was like, it one or two drinks? Yeah. That's actually quite interesting. One or two, but like, I'd literally look forward to that one drink all day. I'd say to people, are you sipping yours or down in it? Yeah. And like <laughs> some of the lads are down it, but I'd walk around for as long as I could, like taking a little sip of mine. You know, I used to down mine in love I Big guy. Yeah. Do they refill it when like refill it with other stuff after you've like no. done your drink? So no. you just have an empty glass. Mm. Yeah, I just put mine down. Because mm. I keep seeing things. I feel like people watching this will think this as well. I keep seeing things on social media where it's, it looks like people are fake drinking. Mm. So do they have like just empty glasses and they're just pretending to drink? It's dead weird. There's some people I've like, seen for hours. Yeah. Mm. Some people like Liberty used to have a drink for like three hours. I'd be like, oh, have you still got that? <laughs> She's like, oh, babe, I'm busy talking. I'm like, I'm focusing on my dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was the same. Yeah, I think I would be as well. You know what, though? In the UK, one well, for me, mm. we could have two drinks. Like, we were have two drinks. And, like, every single night it was two drinks. I'm just pissed off because I think, like, it was like this up, well, on my series <laughs> one, we could, <laughs> like, rob like bottles of wine and hide them oh, so or like bad. rob other people's drinks if they were going to bed so mm. we did get a bit pissed but i just don't understand why they won't let us have a bit more because then they'd get more drama more gossip yeah arguments that is mad so you could literally filter. just get completely wasted on your series one not completely, not completely but a lot more like in the love island world Obviously, the rules in there, living by the rules, you'll know yourself. But it's hard work, isn't it? So, coming out the villa now and just being able to, like, drink even, like, mm. 10 o'clock in the morning. I never really wanted to. I'm like, <laughs> this is just crazy, like... Because I'm used to this little world again where I can't do anything. Yeah. Mm. So I'm like, I'm free. So on the dates, was it non-alcoholic? Your date with Josh and your date with Tyler? Uh, the date with Josh, just press a uh, no sec out. The date with Tyler, I think I got like two real mm. ones. Because I went in and I was like, this better be real. They were like, oh, it's going to be a fake and then we'll swap a real one in. And I kept going, make sure, make sure you bring the real one in. I thought, so otherwise they'll fob me off with the mm. no secco all day. Uh, all day, do you know what I mean? So I was like, make sure you bring me that real one. But yeah. I wonder why that is so strict. No. It's posh coffee. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's like the TV, isn't it? Mm. And I feel like you're their responsibility. Mm-hmm. 
they just say like in case like you did something when you were drunk that you wouldn't want to do i think i'll say like three four glasses i'm not gonna be like absolutely like making it showing myself am i no i feel like i could though mm. i am a bit like that i'd get thought, more like know. piping up and that but i wouldn't be like i think i literally had like three glasses on the movie night for me in australia and i was very very drunk <laughs> You're like, I was, yeah I was really very very drunk but see i think i think that's because your tolerance i don't know i don't mm. understand it goes up or down but you know what i mean and then you you do start feeling it do a lot of people smoke or vape that no one knows about oh my god yeah like <clears throat> there'd literally be again another strange thing about love island so like i smoke uh, when i was in love island but i don't actually smoke here i only smoke if i drink but i knew in that environment i'd be a full-time smoker again because like the sun that's crazy. Um, the stress of the house and also going out to smoke kind of breaks your day up a little bit so me and chris were smokers and every most other people were vapors yeah. so there'd be a line at the door and they'd all be arguing who was next out because you're only allowed out one at a time so everyone all day is constantly fighting to get out the door you know what's really weird about australia that you guys will be like what the actual hell what? you weren't allowed to vape or smoke you're joking. Like, you literally weren't allowed to vape or smoke. It wasn't even an option to go outside to vape or smoke. Like, you literally weren't allowed. So, if you were pure addicted to the vape or whatever, you just can't have well, it. Well, we actually got a down day, like, every Sunday. And every other Sunday, the girls went to the hotel. And I don't know whether I should include this or not, but one of the <laughs> girls it. basically was on the balcony. And this family was on the balcony smoking. And she asked them for a cigarette. I love that. And then, no, she didn't just ask them. She also brought them back into the villa. What the people? Yeah, and then the next down day, so the next Sunday, she was smoking in the garden. Oh, chaperones. Love that. Like all the producers had their day off, so yeah, like the chaperones in the villa. That, that is juicy. Funny. Whoever that is, goes goes on no, it. But I smashed think, it. I think they actually did it in the shower one time. So I went up on this down day. Right, we were all watching a movie downstairs mm. in the villas. Just the girls. The boys were in the hotel. Yeah, and um, I went upstairs and I was like, it actually stinks of smoke. And then oh. like. I saw a couple of the cows up there. In the shower. Ah, yeah, it was in the steam. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like you would probably get people doing that, the odd person doing that, if you're literally saying absolutely no smoking, oh my absolutely God, no yeah. smoking. I feel like they can't really take it away from you because it's like if you go in there as a smoker, it's a habit. They can't I mean. like take that away from you in a stressful environment. But we would never have got away with anything like sneaking anything in like that. No, oh, but the UK no one, you, I actually want to do a video on this. The UK one is so much stricter. Like it just. Is yeah yeah you know even like to the dates you you both go separate cars yeah separate cars yeah no, same cars same cars but just even the chaperone the time up on the car no they so don't you do can't that see the time they don't do that the chaperones give like us their phone to play any music so you can go to the charts what? and like play music see the time and you're just with your partner or maybe just someone that you hardly know going on a date with them and you're both just listening to music on the car oh no we didn't get any music one time we heard like a little song on like someone played it on the phone dead dead love for us but that was it i'm worried they've got like coffee i'm, I'm gonna you swap have a, to have a little bit on your lip yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so dry. Your lips are amazing, by the way. No, her face. Her face in general. Do you know what? I got like, I put a little bit of like the dissolver in before I went so that it's like still there, but not as much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it suits you. You've got the best lips, as you Do you think? Yeah. You like know the what? The bottom lip, I love the bottom of yours. It's like... This is actually a misconception about me. It's like a, a lot of people mm. think, like, I've recently got my lips done or, like, I get my lips done all the time. They're just, like... But, no, 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 no. They're not natural. But last time I got them done was in 2019. Really? Mm. They just last. Yeah. Aren't they? They're just gorgeous. Yeah. Why have they done that? I feel like that girl pumped you with like genuine plastic. Yeah. Oh, I need to go to that girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to that. do me bum because I'm sick of getting the filler and then it just goes. No, your bum's unreal. No. no. I always look at it. 
I'm I so desperate now that I've got out the villa to get me bum filler done again. Mm. But I can't get it done. Is it filler it or is it like actual... I've, got, I've had it done, but then I've got... I get the filler a lot as well to like... You know, like with the... Maintain. Like filler, yeah, but then I got it right before I went in the villa and I was obsessed. Like, <gasps> I had the hips and that. Yeah. And then when the swelling went, went down, the hips just went in. Oh, now no. I'm desperate to go to Essex and get it done, but then I can't Can you tell me because, who it is? I'm yeah, lift it's aesthetic. Called um, you know what I really want to get done? Hip, 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 so it goes in yeah. here mm. when I'm yeah. standing in a bikini and, and I'd love just to get that filled. Like, wow. Lift aesthetics is the best I've ever had. But I'm desperate to go back, like being out the villa. But you do need, a, like, not downtime, but for about three days, you're just a little bit tender. Yeah. So, because I've been busy, I haven't really wanted to, like, go and then be, like, bumping around yeah. on the tube or anything. That would be really right, so I'm desperate to get it. I wonder how much filler you actually need. Like, you must need loads yeah. of filler. Like, like 500 that. ml. Yeah. yeah. 500 ml a girl. 500 ml. Yeah. Considering, like, if you, you think one you mil, get, you you get like, one mil, yeah. yeah. I've never even had, like, one mil. I had 0.9. I'm going to get a thousand mil. When I go back, no, I actually am. I'm gonna get a thousand mil. Why is that so much? Yeah, sick of it going away. Because I'm like this, like walking around the house to feel. Literally, when I first get it done, I feel like Nicki Minaj. I'm like, yeah. And then after like a week, I've got a pancake no. house again. And I'm like, no. Your bum is far from a pancake. I get loads house. of pictures, you know, when I first get it done, and I'm like, yes. And I then love that though. It's, gone. <laughs> it's like when I left. I was yeah. like, oh, who is this girl? And then it just dropped. And then it just dropped. Yeah. Like, okay, never mind. I've got no no lashes to lift, girl. Grace said, "What is the hardest part about being on Love Island or being on television?" I think the hardest part about it for me was obviously I've got a son, leaving me Aww. son. Yeah, really, like so fucking difficult leave like just i think for me is being in the like contained environment like the rules i find that really hard mm -hmm. yeah but at, like as well being like a more mature people yeah because i'm like, as well. I'm like fucking 33 like when i want a ciggy i can have one if i want a wine I, I can have one. Yes. Like, if I want to kick off with someone, I don't need someone to like calm me down. Yeah. I'm back. Like, it's the rules for me. Mm. And like, I found it difficult. But at the same time, what an experience. Like, it mm. was amazing. But yeah, just the rules. What was the hardest rule that you struggled with when you were in the villa then? No ale. No yeah. what? No, 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 no drink. Oh, so <laughs> in Liverpool, right? Everyone's. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's like my translator. I know the lingo now. <laughs> so everyone I was like, in, sorry. What? Everyone when I say ale, right? In Liverpool, ale means like any kind of alcohol, but when I say I want ale, people go, ale? Yes, yeah. I want ale. <laughs> ale just means like wine, beer, vodka, ale, like I'm on the ale. I love that. I feel like where yeah. I'm from, like Brighton, we just don't have any lingo like that Don't, yeah, at all. what, no, like slang, like No, we say like, language. we say all oh, the drinks. Yeah, that, yeah, I wouldn't say that Or the bevies. Really... No, no, yeah, exactly, that's oh, what I'm saying. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> what else? The bevies. <laughs> no, like there's literally nothing. There's nothing that's like, oh no way you say that. Mm, it's just really? Like, yeah, I think the same for me. Really, I haven't. I don't think we say anything different. It's so annoying. I think but I love say to have like a you have accent, to make like, one. Oh, the ale. I'm obsessed with Hannah's accent. <laughs> Mine is so strong though and so loud. It's so I love good. It. It's so loud. And when I have a drink, it goes up by like times three. Yeah. <laughs> and it's already yeah. so loud. Yeah. I can't wait. Like to see you know, that. years ago, like when I used to work at Sugar Hut and I'd be with Dave. Yeah. And like <laughs> I'd be out. Outside rapping. <laughs> I remember I'd be outside like rapping and Joey, he was having like a party filming something upstairs and they, they come down and they're like, Hannah, everyone can hear you rap like from the other end of Brentwood's High Street and they're trying to film upstairs. <laughs> I don't think you're rapping. Because the voice goes so loud. I don't know about the drink. No, I love it though. It's so, it's like a really, you've got like a powerful voice. Like you, <laughs> when you're in the I room, love it. It's nice as well. <laughs> Thanks. It's so cringy when I like listen to it. Like, uh, 
just couldn't no, cry of it. I hate my voice. I feel like that was actually one thing, actually, that was difficult for me to go onto TV. Back to the question. When I went onto Love Island UK the first time and I came out and everyone was like, why does she speak like that? Why does she say really? Do you remember like, like that what? series at all? Did you watch that series? I watched every series, right? But I can't remember, like, I remember you in it. I remember everyone in it. But I can't remember, like, say who you were coupled with or mm, no. who else was on your one. I get them all mixed up, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, who was so in well. your series? Toby. Like? Toby? Mm. So you were in the series with... Lib. Lib. Kaz. Kaz. Toby. Jake, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chloe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was actually a really good series. So who were you coupled up with? So I was coupled up with a guy called Brad. Brad? Yeah, Couldn't Brad McLeod. Yeah. You can't He you was can. really good looking. Brad, no. He was like literally stunning. Mm. I literally, I remember I walked in and I was like, oh my was goodness. He he was he, yeah? Yeah, he was beautiful. And then he left because we were voted like, I don't even know what it was, but basically one of us had to choose who's gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> and Lucid was like, I'm not going anywhere, oh, no, honey. So he said to me, I'd only just got the hair. Yeah, like, yeah. Just got hair. He was being a gentleman. He was starting line up as well. And like, he didn't fancy anyone else in there. There was just things obviously off camera as well. And I was just like, okay, fine. I'll stay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'm not moving anyway, babe. I mean, he's got it. Yeah. Anyway, bye. <laughs> well, you two are. And then we had to go back to the we had to go back to the fire pit and be like, we've decided that Brad's gonna go and I'm gonna stay. And everyone and I was there in this like little pink dress and I was there like it's actually iconic the face <laughs> I'm making like I'm literally like there like and I can just see like people peering Bare at me like because obviously he's an OG so they're all like family on yeah they're like yeah, yeah. they're like got that bond like that OG bond yeah. together and I'm just this random bombshell that came like a few days and ago and then like, he's got kicked out yeah <laughs> and then I tried to make it work with a guy called Aaron Francis he was actually nice he's he is like so nice really good looking like very like modelesque and then I got stolen off a guy called Danny Bibby and then oh okay I remember him. It was all sort of going on. Yeah. And, then, and then I actually ended up eventually leaving with Aaron Francis before Catherine Moore. You know, I was only in there for like two and a half weeks. So same, same yeah. show. Yeah. Oh, okay. No yeah. way. I wasn't in Catherine Moore. I wasn't in Movie Night. I wasn't in... Oh. I wasn't in any of that. No way. This is Juicy. What do you think about Georgia Steele's behaviour? So, <laughs> I actually was one of, like, she was one of my best friends yeah. in the villa. There's actually honestly. loads of people that have said that, like, you guys were really close and stuff. Really, really close. Mm -hmm. So, like, before I went in the villa, like, she was rumoured to go in. And I thought, I didn't think I'd like her at all. I thought she'd do me head in. But then I was proper surprised because day one, we were like this. Aww. And she was like my little sister. But then, obviously, like, just before I left, her and Tom thing just started to, like, come out. And I'd always defender and at that point i was like jay come on like i can't really defend you here because you are in the wrong mm -hmm. and then obviously i got the boot she was dead upset when i left and that i've come out and watched all of that but i was dead close to callum in there as well so like watching it was horrible mm -hmm. and like if i was in there i definitely would have been piping up like and back and cow on this sitch but i would have given like as a mate my honest opinion and gone like what are you doing like you, mm. you can't do that but then i would have support give her the yeah. support as i mean been there for her but yeah i don't agree with it mm. do you know what i mean and i think she she's been really shitty to Carl, but then you know, still absolutely love her to bits and then feel like she was getting absolutely slated online. Which I is, know, that's horrible. It's just not, no like, acceptable. And then, like, I've said this in a few things because I just feel like people moan about it. But then if there wasn't that drama, they wouldn't be watching it and they'd yeah. say it was boring. Mm. It's entertaining. So, like, yeah, it's entertaining and, like, that's what we watch it for. Yeah. Literally. It was, like, me and my couple. I felt like a lot of people in the Australian one like had a lot to say about me and my couple and Did these yeah just like narcissistic and like manipulative behavior yeah but like i was a bit oblivious to it at the time but i feel like it was good tv to watch yeah of course people course. just like want to watch drama of course yeah. like that pda is that what it's called pda when that came on i was like this 
Yeah, and that's yeah. the reaction it caused. So it, it was boss telly. But, I, I, you know, I hope when she gets out, she's all right with, mm. like, dealing with all of that. She seems like she has quite thick skin. Yeah. I feel yeah. like she will be okay. But yeah. also, I feel like as well, especially with TV and reality TV, Georgia could be, like, the less like liked person on the show today. But then tomorrow, they can easily edit yeah. or, you know, oh, change the, the whole story, story around. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she could be the most loved person. Like, that is just what reality TV is like and then it's a show. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's dead funny. Like I was I was trying to explain it to me mum. I was like, you see them all the next morning and they're all over it, like no yeah. one does because in that filler a day or the drama, what yeah. happened yesterday feels like it happened like three months ago. Mm. So the next day they're all like besties again. Yeah. Because yeah. they've like got over it. But you know what? Yeah, That's so true. Absolutely love the girl. She was my little bestie. Would have, you know, told her about herself when I was in there, when that happened. And, you know, I really fell for Cal, but loved them all to bits. So. Yeah. You know what? I wonder if it's, like, even that dramatic in there at the moment. Like, I wonder, like, how much has been, no, like, heavily... No, you mean? Yeah, like, because, not really with Love Island Australia, but when I came out of Love Island UK, I was, like, it was quite boring in there. Like, I yeah. kind of was just, like, in the daytime, there was no drama. In the nighttime, there was no drama, really. And it was just, like, very... Yeah, there'd be a couple of arguments. But, like, mm. I remember once, I think, Faye was once, like talking to someone in like a very stern voice and it was just like not really that much drama and we all went to bed but then when i rewatched the episode it was like the dramatic the dramatic music. yeah, yeah. And, like, the tomorrow night and it's like what they made <laughs> that situation a big deal into like that much of a big deal and yeah. when you're watching it you're like I can't believe she said that. I can't believe yeah. this is happening. It's like Hugo also did like a speech at the fire pit. And like, yeah, I was like, oh my God, wow. <laughs> and then there was a bit of a, like a tiff afterwards yeah. with the boys and stuff. But then we went to bed and then we were like, that's bye, it. bye guys, love you all. Yeah, that's that exactly it. what it's like. Mm -hmm. And then like, that was like the biggest, most iconic bit of, coupling yeah. in Love Island. Yeah. When I, you're actually there, it's like... I feel like in that environment though, when you're living with these people 24-7, you have to be able to just drop things. Yeah. I yeah. remember like it's TV and emotions are heightened because you're stuck in that villa. Like if you're going to take things to heart, you're literally just going to break. Exactly, mm. yeah. In All Stars as well, this time there was. So other day, it'd be just quite chill, but every night that always seemed to be like a drama and cause you're in the, that environment with like you haven't got anything else to do when there's mm. a drama it's a bit like ooh, that's like <laughs> the whole like gosh around the village you know it's like ooh, that's like mad do you know what i always think of when you know how everyone says morning islanders and night islanders i hear that in your voice no do you know who started that the first ever i actually said is it. that actually you by the way that tiktok yeah the one where i'm shouting is that actually you yeah <laughs> I had that on uh, Amy Ankles. No, because just I saw that you did it on TikTok, but it doesn't say your name on the sound. Oh, no, that's me having an argument in series one. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> because I was like, is this actually her? Because it obviously sounds like you. Yeah. But the name, the, so the TikTok sound doesn't say, like, your name. Yeah, yeah. And I was like... I wonder if that is her. No, that's me having a meltdown at John in my series. You told me! <laughs> Wait, what is it? <laughs> Go shag a scruff and maggle up, then I'm not even arse mate! <laughs> yeah. And then at the oh, end, I went, no, suck me iconic. dick. Because <laughs> oh they hilarious. went to maggle up on our series, they took them out for a, night for a out. boys' night out. Yeah. And he was like, I'm not gonna go with it. I was like, what? oh, fuck off, mate! They had a full on night out and they brought naked butlers in for the girls and I got so pissed that night. I was running around with my tits out. Yeah. And they showed it. I literally like went out. No. I had like a bun in, me top up, and I was going, oh, I'm running around. They would never do that now. And then they did. I am in shock. They, they did that thing where they rolled the big screen in and they played it back to John. <gasps> And then we had another big argument about that. I love it. I have. I need to watch it back. I need to watch, I need to watch it back. back. It's I so need good. to watch it back. It's proper different. Like, completely different. I can't believe they took them to Magaloo. Yeah. yeah. Well, was that just to, like, cause more drama and start so, arguments? you know, Callum Best, he came in and said, like, lads, come on, we're going on a lads yeah. night out. So what, that's that argument of me doing well, so the Well, he rollers. came in as a bombshell and was like, we're going on a... No, night. just came in, like, just... 
Like, um, a, like a guest appearance. What? Yeah, and then the scene of me shouting and blow drying my hair, putting rollers in, and he's getting ready to go to Magaluf, and I'm like, oh, look at you all made up because you're going to Magaluf, but me and him <laughs> used to scream at, like, the top of our voice, and me mate sitting next to me going, just leave the hand. Just leave the hand. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, I'm not even asked. It is hilarious. I love it. I wonder if they've, like, blurred any of that stuff out now. No, I you like, to watch it back, because I don't I want it to be blurred out. I would absolutely love to watch that season. We should have a night in and yeah. binge it. I'll watch and then comment. We yeah. yeah. show our reaction because it'll be like, wow. Oh, there are that. so many people that say that season one is literally like the best. It it is, you're just smoking, is, yeah. drink, like smoking like in the garden. Yeah. You'd have like a little bit drinking, running around, everyone was shagging, like it was crazy. On top of the sheets. <laughs> okay, but I thought that there was still sex like on top of the sheets. Season, season two. One. Season two there definitely uh, was. Who um, was the tattooed guy? Terry. Terry and, and Emma. Marlin. Emma. Oh, Emma. Emma. Oh, Emma. Emma. Oh, Emma. Yes. Yes. Because Marlin came in. Yes, he and then Marlon yeah. came back. Do you remember when that he was on a date? Best. Hey, well, I remember I was best. watching that when I was literally like 16. And I was like, oh like my. Marlon, do you remember when he went on the date and that Marlon came in and she had a proper yeah. cop on? It was They like met at this little like, rooftop bar. Yeah. Why don't they do stuff like that anymore? I know, I know. It was That was perfect, like TV. It was so juicy. So good. But I feel like they also say season one of Love Island Australia is the best. <laughs> Like, really? Yeah, they say that all the time. They're like, no one will ever beat season one of Love Island. Yeah. So I feel like maybe it's just like the first seasons where like rules are like way more relaxed. And, and they're stuff. trying to like work out how to do yeah. it. On these, yeah. So they're like letting you get away with like letting more and, and stuff. see what, yeah. Any funny moments of Hannah and Anton that she wishes had been aired? Love them both. Oh, do you know what? I love Anton. Oh my God, don't I rave about him? Yeah, them? you do. She absolutely loves him. I really want him to win. Funny moments. I mean, yeah, like... Like, he would get me all the time. I mean, like, what I'm about to say isn't like that funny, but basically his mum shaves his bum for him. Yeah, I've and heard he, that before. Yeah, and he always, like, would ask someone to shave his bum and no one would do it. So I what, used to... He actually asked people? Oh, my God, yeah. So I used to go in the bathroom and, like, check his bum and be like, no, it's fine that like, you don't need to shave it. Otherwise, I, I would help you shave it. You know that was literally me this morning having laser hair removal. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking you. I, I need was, a few sessions. I am not even joking you. I was literally... <laughs> on top of the bed and she was like spreading my cheeks oh, and shaving. Shaver. Sorry guys. <laughs> like, she actually was doing that. Yeah, I need to and, like, get my done but then again. she's just like talking to you about like life. This, yeah. That was Australia. <laughs> and I'm like meanwhile she's like <laughs> Yeah and I'm like I don't know <laughs> how I can smooth, have like, a normal, girl. <laughs> Yeah I'm like I don't know how yeah that's true. That is true. <laughs> so you would go into the bathroom and check and we just like pamper with each other all the time. Like he'd every night come into the girls' dressing room, and he'd always make an excuse for it. But he'd like try and say they're quite to be like, "Have you got the concealer? And uh, have you got it in the bronzer?" And then, but then he'd make like a thing and go, "Oh, it's because I'm sunburned." And it'd be like, "Anton, no, Aww. it's not." Do you know what? He's just so cute. Like he made the beds of a morning. He'd clean the kitchen. He'd make everyone's coffee. He's gotta win this show. He really is. Sounds like such a gentleman. You know what? My mum's favourites were yeah. you and Anton. Oh, she, she still watches it now and every time Anton comes on the screen, she always says, I just love him. I just loved me and Anton's relationship because mm. obviously it wasn't romantic, mm. but we had such a good relationship. Like we proper bounce off each other, do you know what I mean? Mm. We were like husband and wife of the villa. Yeah. Oh, it's such a shame that you went early. I would have loved to carry on watching that. And I wish like, I don't know, I wish that I'd did like like him in that way, but you know, he what didn't is like it? you in that way. No, no. it was we like very just, very platonic. But I'd wake, I'd feel so comfortable in the bed with him. I'd wake up in the morning and like I'd cuddle him in the morning and like be like shattered and he'd he'd Aww. cuddle me like he's just so cute. I love him. So why why do you think that most of the girls can like he literally is perfect in every way? He realistically, is. he's, he's bad. too perfect. You know what? Though? Is that what it is? Yeah. Do you think? He's that is too, actually a like, thing. Yeah. He's too nice and maybe like, you know, Gail's like the bad boy and he's just too perfect. Mm. Isn't that just wild though? That like, like us like, 
Uh, as a, I think I fancy Anton a little bit. He's do absolutely know. good. And like, yes. I, like a hundred percent. Like he's definitely growing on me. Like, mm, yeah, he wasn't an initial person that when he came on, I was like, I fancy him. Like, blah blah blah. Mm. And also, I really respect my mum's opinion. But like, as I'm like, like seeing more clips and stuff of him, and like seeing more of his personality, I'm like, and he's, mm. I actually think he's really he's good looking. Uh, no, babe, he is. Beautiful. I have seen like, he's gorgeous. He's so yeah. gorgeous, but really nice mm -hmm. eye colour, and he's got naturally oh God, like golden skin. skin. Yeah, he's, he gives me like Peter Andre vibes, and I yes. love the Scottish accent. Yeah, it's funny. I <laughs> love Cinder's mum's Scottish. Mom's Scottish. Like, really? Yeah, and, like, I've always like dreamt of having like a Scottish boyfriend. Obviously, have I never you not found like a Scottish one? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know your like, mum's mean, Scottish? No, I've just never. I don't really come across Scottish people, really. No. Like no, I feel like I they're just they're all in not Scotland. doing <laughs> <laughs> They're just all in Scotland. And I literally never go to Scotland. I no, love the weekend away in Scotland. Yeah, go go there. Edinburgh. Like Edinburgh. They've got all that like I love Harry Potter and they've got all the Harry Potter things and oh, Loch Ness. Is such a vibe. I asked Anton has he ever seen the um, Loch Ness monster? He was like, I can't, I'm not even going to try and do his voice, but he's like, I can't believe you think that's a thing. It's like a snake like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Someone said, what's both of your biggest misses about Love Island? So I guess the things that we miss the most. You know what? Just the people. And like, I don't know about you, but it was the same on both series for me like the best part of the day was like in that bedroom they don't really show any of it but mm. just like the banter between everyone before bed like just howling I loved the banter before bed. <laughs> yeah. I felt I like as well, that was when like my my couple was like proper forming as yeah, well. Yeah. Like before bed. Before and, like, bed. Yeah. And everyone's just like throwing stuff across the yeah. room. Like, um, and I used to get the giggles every night before same. bed. Every night. I was up all night laughing. They, so was they that. never showed that no, though. They never showed that and I think that's like the best part of it. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, I think it's mainly just the people and like... You know what I really enjoy? like not having any worry in the world oh i know it is so yeah. weird what it does to you like it is so bizarre like yeah. you think without a phone and not seeing your family like yeah. i'd be really missing my family and i'd be like oh my god like what's going on with social media and stuff because obviously that's our job and like no like i just literally, you don't even you, worry about like washing yeah or, you literally oh, what your body or like your clothes oh no like your clothes oh. I was gonna say, no, no, you need to show Maybe me. Maybe send someone in and wash me. <laughs> <laughs> Bring someone in and have a stink. <laughs> like, that is so funny. No, like everything you want, you just go to the beach up and yeah. moan about it and then you get it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? You're like in a bubble, aren't you? <laughs> it's so weird being in there. So weird. Why do we reckon they only have one shower? What, I don't why, know. Why, what would you do? Oh, yeah, they only have one shower in my shower as well. One yeah. outside, which you're not going to use because, like, in South Africa, it's so windy, so it, the water just goes like that. And then the one in the main one was cold most mm. of the time. And there's, like, 16 people trying to get in it or however many people. All of the boys in my Love Island Australia season and Love Island UK season, actually, they all showered outside. Yeah. Really, yeah. All the boys. And, like, if they wanted to shower inside, all the girls, like, must have, like, showered before. And we'd yeah. Like, okay, well, there's space, you can use it if you want. We something. did that, to be fair, like, the girls would get in first because yeah. the boys would have a nap or whatever at that point because they'd know. Mm -hmm. But then if girls are washing their hair and stuff, it's like... So how long yeah. did you normally get given to get ready? Some days we might get three hours, sometimes we might get 45 minutes. Like, yeah, we were the same. Uh, just You just never knew. So, like, you were on edge, really, because you didn't know how long you've got. And then they're all fighting for, like, the hair dryer. Oh, I think how it's hard. How many hair dryers did you have? Two hair dryers and two hair wraps, but they only had, like, dead short leads. So you'd be, oh. like, that, trying to do it. <laughs> You know what? That was the same. We had was like really it? short leads. I the curler we had was so bad. Was so it? So bad. I kept going into the beach just saying, can I request an extension lead <laughs> so that you could put it on so I can blow me hair probably. But people were like, yeah, yeah, we'll get on it. And then they never, ever brought me one. So I was like... Do you think they say stuff like, yeah, yeah, we'll get on it just so we... Can you just shut up? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? How cute. They are stunned. Yeah, you know what? Lovely. This wasn't actually the first nails that I got. 
got, sorry guys, I've got Valentine's nails. Oh, I'm gonna get some like that. How cute. Stunning. Get These right are my back. nails from what they did in the villa. What? Yeah, they did them one time yeah. and they did them. But why have they hardly broke? But how did you got back a few days ago? Yeah. When did you get back? I don't know, not even a week ago. No, it's like Stop. Friday. And I got them done right before they come out, but I'm gonna get them taken off and get like, you know, like a nice, Get some like, cute tea. I love yeah. it. Like, this is very pot. holiday. Yeah, it is. Okay, how was Hannah's friendship with Callum? Love Callum so much. <gasps> I loved Callum. So, actually, I don't think I was telling this to my mum. My mum was like, never seen you speak one word to Callum. I it's chilled weird, with Callum all day because he was just proper, like, sound. Like, we had loads in common. Like, we used to just sit on the beanbags and talk about, like, serial killers and true crime documentaries all day. Like, really, really. <laughs> Really got I on with him. That. Dead, dead, chill, dead laid back. And obviously where he's a man and I'm a scouter, mm. we just had a loads in common. But I think what they show you on the show is like Love Island chat. So like me and mm. Carl obviously never had anything to say about like Love Island chat, do you know mm, what I mean? Yeah. So it's mad because you don't see like the other friendships and like you don't actually see so much of yeah. like what actually happens, do you? Yeah. But um, one of my favourite episodes is the unseen bit. Yeah. Because it's like that's when you see people's actual personalities, like playing games in the pool and yeah. just being really silly. And I think that's what I really want to see. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, I really enjoy this. Like episodes. more Big Brother style, just like seeing what they're doing, isn't mm. it? Yeah. But yeah, what do we think about Callum and Joanna? Do you think they're gonna be a thing? No, I think that Callum and Molly. Do you will think get out together? Well, I thought they were gonna the other day, but now they've just not. Yeah, they got given an opportunity there. Really, when things mm. ended between Georgia and Callum, obviously Molly and Tom were a thing, but mm. she got annoyed at Tom. So I thought there's an opportunity here for them to both leave their couples so and come back I. together, but they didn't. So now I'm like, I'm so I confused. Think they actually no, might maybe be done. they actually are. Yeah, because mm. I know there's a lot of speculation about what what's happening. They do just like kind of get on with it. Like they don't really talk a lot in the villa. Mm. They kind of just you know what Molly and Callum. Yeah, they just they don't chill together. They you know they'll be nice kind of thing but they don't have a conversation or anything i feel like all of my exes are so toxic for that to ever like yeah like thing. how could you imagine deal just with like them? living in the same villa as your ex and them just like no. cracking on they've dealt with it really well yeah i'm, I'm i've been come too fiery i would just and like a three and a half year ex as well like it's no. not just like a summer thing it's together. literally yeah i don't know how they've done it to be honest yeah. but I, I was like rooting for them to get back together but i didn't think it's happening I have a question. What? I remember seeing loads of stuff on social media about yours and Tyler's kiss. So after your kiss, you go round. Now I know the answer to this, I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> <laughs> after the kiss, you go around the villa and you say to everybody, he put it on me, yeah. he stuck it on me. The edit shows it kind of like you stuck it on him. Clear it up, huh? Okay, so <laughs> basically what it was was like, Tyler pulled me to the terrace and like I did I didn't realize, like, I was like, duh, I didn't think, mm. if you know what I mean, like, the terrace yeah. means that, like, he's gonna kiss me. <laughs> so what happened was, because I just kissed him in the challenge, I was like, you know, fuck it. But I think... What, while I was talking to him, it was sinking in. He's pulled me to the terrace, so we're going to kiss. Yeah. So then I ended up just, like, kissing him. I don't know what happened. And I kissed him twice on the terrace. But then when I went down from the terrace, I was like, wait, hang on a minute. He stuck it on me by <laughs> taking me to the terrace. Do you get what I mean? No, I 100% agree. Yeah. So <laughs> did, did you go in? Did yeah. you go in for the kiss or did Ty go in? Because we only saw I one felt of the like kisses. he did, but when I watched that back, and see everyone human it does look like i go like mm. that but then i'm like but Wait, I, even if you did i feel like you wouldn't have gone in unless there was no, I, I was, the vibe. I was just randomly no, going someone. and i was thinking it was sinking in he's pulled me to the terrace yeah. like, we're gonna like kiss yeah so i was just like just kiss and like this is all and go downstairs <laughs> i feel like as well like when you're in that situation <laughs> if the guy pulls you in for a hug he's setting it up yeah to pull away and to kiss you so, and then when i went downstairs i was like maybe that was all a bit too soon like i hadn't spoke to cat mm. and then they'll all start and go like mm, they went to the tennis you know the way they all start going like <laughs> mm, the tennis. Tennis. oh my god that's hilarious but i've seen loads of people saying like she said it was it but i felt like he did stick it on me i'm not <laughs> I was laughing so much.
much because it was just like everyone was just like divided in the comments. Like, hold on, she's going around saying that he's yeah. stuck it, but then you see Han going for the kiss, but he set it up, he pulled you in for that. Yeah, the heart. yeah so I just thought, f it, like, <laughs> stick it on him. <laughs> but I still but stand by, he stuck it on me by taking me the time. Yeah, taking you there, <laughs> hugging you. Yeah, yeah, it's obvious what he wanted to do. He could have easily just taken you for a chat and like the bean bags. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, the middle exactly. of the villa in front of everyone, you know. And because we just literally five minutes earlier kissed in the chat, like in the days, I knew. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Hey, by the way, it's got nothing to do with it, but that rain out there is depressing. Or oh, like that grey is depressing. I mean, looking at that weather. Oh, what? <laughs> I was like, are we still talking about the villa or are you talking about current, present day? I was looking at you like, that That just swept I was thinking, off. what rain in the villa? I, I was like thinking, <laughs> what? I was like, is she talking no, about how? I said, I said, this is I know, what how? I to do with it. I went, but how? how? That's depressing. <laughs> so do you still do OnlyFans, obviously? Oh, yeah, so I still do OnlyFans. Oh, oh, I God. really want to see. I, I want to see your OnlyFans. Yeah. I need to I do a shoot. It is like, <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got I got the privilege of seeing Hannah Topless the other day and I was just like... I was like, babe, you're going to see me, babe, so you're going to have to get used to it. Honestly, oh, my unreal. Your, your body is just stunning. Oh my God, everything. I so wish I had that confidence. You know, I've okay. literally like never even sent a nude before. No. No, like genuinely, I just don't have the confidence. Mm. Oh, I'm just like just stunning. I just literally respect OnlyFans girls so much because yeah. the confidence mm. that you guys have is just like, why am I like that? Oh, sure. Do you know what? I think it's because it's it's a younger generation thing. The mm. standards are so high. Well, we like well we your, your generation think that they are because you've grown up with. Instagram mm. and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like didn't have that. <laughs> yeah, no. Like it wasn't like that, was it? No, no. Um, was it? It's all I've like ever knew. Do you know what I mean? Like that's been my job, and I knew I was good at it. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like yeah. doing the, the sexy content. But yeah. yeah. In real life, personality, I'm not one bit sexy. I can't but be sexy. But why is that always the case? I don't know. Like I can take all these sexy pics, like, but yeah. I can't <laughs> be one bit sexy. <laughs> Like I a conflict with anyone. I feel like I'm sexy <laughs> off and online. <laughs> you? Yeah, I don't think I'm a very sexy person. Like I want to be. I'm That's just sexy. something I need to work on actually. Yeah, I'm not. Like for the Love Island challenges, like I would literally have to hype <laughs> myself up because I am the least sexiest person in the whole entire world. No. And when it comes to like dressing up in a, like an outfit and then yeah. like going around a pole, like I just physically, I, no, I can't. I literally physically can't. Like I would actually just have to like hype myself up for a good hour before. Yeah, before, oh no. But I'm just that type of person. But then I bet like, what were you like? Were you just in those sort I of mean, chances? Yeah, I was an ass. Like I think doing pictures or anything like that, or if it's like a challenge, I'd just laugh at myself. I love yeah. that. If you know what I mean? I had to crawl from the edge of the fire pit, like and do a sexy you crawl know, on I the think floor. I, I think I saw that. Yeah, I love that. So I it. just like did it like taking the piss out myself and I was like going <laughs> like just messing around you that. know what I mean but any picture or shoot I can do the whole glamour thing can you but like in real life wow I cannot play it or be like you know the way yeah. some girls like like I sexy can't do you. that no. No. Yeah. Like I go to bits if someone's like looking at me or yeah. like being flirty, I start going like, mm, I'm gonna do. Yeah. Our conversations before we went into the villa, we were talking about Harry Potter. We were talking about <laughs> snakes. Yeah. And like have proper like laddie like tomboy chat because yeah. we have very similar personalities. Yeah. And then like if you were to go on your Insta, you just would not think no. that that's what Hannah's like at all. And you know what, babe? Like because of my job, because I've always been this glamour model, right? people automatically put you in the box of like she's gonna be dead sexual she's slept with everyone she probably is like dead flirty robs your fella you know that's yeah. what they think of you and i'm like oh my god when you actually i'm the total opposite no. of that yeah because of that job they just think you're gonna be this like say it and wait but i come back more fr far from like yeah 
the image. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then when I open my mouth, I'm just like, oh. You know what we haven't spoken about? What? And like, I wish we probably spoke about more. The fact that you got engaged. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's crazy. So quickly, quickly. Well, when you came out, mm. so you were engaged. Yeah. Right? Who when you came that? out, so were you like planning a wedding or was it like... No. Obviously, it wasn't as big as it is now, but it was still a big deal. We come out and the whole like, into the Love Island whirlwind of like, PAs and stuff. Stuff. So we never actually like planned the wedding and then literally a few months after coming out I was like eh, No, this is not gonna work. But in the Love Island bubble I genuinely thought like I was head over heels He was the one and like I was wanted to marry him. Then when we got out I soon realized that yeah. that wasn't the case so you didn't speak up. you didn't speak at a wedding or anything no i literally <laughs> can't believe that that happened he didn't How get did... me a real ring love island gave him one did you get to keep it or yeah but then i threw it at him in an argument and i lost it <laughs> was it a real diamond no it was like probably out like the machine <laughs> like a claire's ring yeah and he did always say he was going to get me, like, a proper one, but we didn't last long enough for that. But I did that is genuinely, crazy. like, think I loved him yeah. when I was in the villa, yeah. like, 100%. Yeah. You could tell, though, it was so genuine when you were watching it, mm -hmm. like... Because it was day one, and, yeah. like, I was met him. So we were in there, what, seven weeks or something? And I was, like, obsessed. We have no bad blood now, though, like, I've, I've, like, seen him, like, two times in ten yeah. years, and we were absolutely fine, so. That's nice, at least you're, there's no bad blood. Oh, no, of course. Now, when but, was the last time you saw him? Uh, when I filmed Love Island, what what happened next? It was, like, a reunion show, and I met him. Mm. He was absolutely fine, oh, you know nice. what I mean? Oh, nice, I love that. But, yeah. Has he got a new girlfriend now? God knows. Mm. I don't know. I actually thought they might put him into the villa, you know, in All Stars to like, because he was my ex, but he didn't walk in. That would have been amazing if they did. I know, and he's like a big personality, so I think we would have like... Is he good looking? I mean, he was What's his back name? then. Let me type him out. John Clark. How old is he? 32. He went on to Towie for a while. Is this him? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, he's not, he's not bad, is he? No. That would have be been... <laughs> And he's got a massive personality. I like thought you were going to say something else. Ah! Oh, no. He's <laughs> massive personality. I don't and know he's got that. a massive personality. Do you know what? He was very entertaining He was, wasn't he? Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Both of you together. And we have, like, massive arguments together. Like. I love that. <laughs> like, the Essex and the Scouts. Like, it was just, like, it was a good combo. Is he a proper, like, Essex geezer? He's like, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> I actually, I actually kind of like that though. I like a bit of a geezer. <laughs> and he loved like the blonde, like big boot, like yeah. the yeah. dart. <laughs> we he like, like just jumped like... forward for you. Yeah. Like literally like in the water, like jump forward for her. <laughs> In the water. Yes, they're just the in the pool. The no. They would stand on these little like stars or something in the pool. <laughs> oh my god, no, that's hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, and then pr the presenter would be like, stand forward if, if you fancy Hannah. John's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, though. it was a cute little love story. But I think when you come out and like you, you know, you get in that bubble and yeah. things change. Then so done. fast paced, isn't it? It's difficult to kind of maintain. Like, you're, you're so busy dotting everywhere. Yeah. Like, you've not stopped mm. this week. No. If you had a boyfriend, like, when would you even find time to even have a FaceTime? Like, it's... Exactly. We've, we've been finishing at, like, God knows what time. It's difficult. Really difficult. No, but anyway, anyway so. <laughs> thank you guys for all watching. <laughs> thank you. This has you. actually been a very long, in-depth video. But it's, it's been, been really chill. super chill. Anyway, love you all <laughs> so you. much. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.